This is my current setup. I have this, I have an HDMI cable going to this monitor from my Dell R51 computer, which is about 20 feet away on the other. It's in another room in an office, but there's no doors in the office. So I ran it underneath the rug there. It goes underneath and you see the cable there which comes underneath this sofa and it goes to this thing. So I tried the wireless thing, didn't work that well. So I ended up returning those. And um, this was my, this is my setup. It's been working fine. I have the wireless keyboard and mouse connected and they get communication to about 20 feet away. And that's the, um, on the left, that's the USB receivers. So that goes, it's a direct shot, it's 20 feet away. No obstructions whatsoever, so it's like sitting at my desk. But this is another keyboard and mouse I'm using, a second keyboard and mouse, so I can work while I'm sitting in the living room. In the, uh, I can have things going on while the, uh, the family's here watching something. I might set something up and I don't have to get up and go to the computer and distract people or pause anything. We can still watch a movie or whatever we're doing still working on whatever I need to do, click on this, choose that, and it's done. So this is my setup and I ha it's a tray basically. This was a uh, a computer tray type of thing and I turned it sideways like a table. I put Velcro underneath here to keep it stable and it works, it works just fine. But I wanna make it more sleek, more nicer looking. So I wanna run the cables and all that stuff nicer on the pole and everything and uh, just make it look nicer. So I ended up finding this on Amazon, it's used, and it's basically a tripod just like that, but it's specifically made without a table, just for the monitor itself, and I also ended up buying some trays on Amazon also, that'll give me, if I want a tray, to put a tray on there. Uh, so I can put things like the keyboard and mouse storage or if I want I can literally just take all the trays off and just close the legs and hide the monitor with the legs inside a closet. That's my idea. It's more about storage, moving this around and not having to be stuck with it sitting there as if we have a party or something and we have people over in the living room. We don't want this sticking out. It's going to be obtrusive and uh, in the way. So it'll be easy to just take this, close the legs and store it in a closet somewhere. Just have to be careful with the monitor itself. So let's open this up and see how it looks. It's, I bought it used on Amazon. So I'm hoping everything's in there. I'm also looking to be able to get the monitor to be lower. If you look at that, that's the lowest I can make it. So I have to look up while I'm working, while I'm sitting there. I have to look up. I don't like that. It starts to hurt my neck after a while. So I'm hoping that this will be eye level, that I can shrink it down to eye level. I don't know if I could, but that's everything in the box. Nothing else. inside the box at all. Uh, this came in there, I don't know what this is. It's just, I guess it was in here and they didn't even bother putting it. So that's the actual whole device. I'll do a close up look on it. So totally, I guess this is the, as far as I can make it closed. Yeah, this is as far down as it'll go. Uh, this is as far down as it'll go. So let's just measure the storage of the item. I'll put it at the end over here. Visually, it's about 34 inches. That's with that thing sticking straight up. 34 inches. Right there, upside down, 34 inches. This. Okay. 
and we'll see how tall it gets. I'll measure that when I fully extend it. So let's take a look at it real close. So this is supposed to hold up to 20 pounds. The monitor itself weighs about 17 pounds, if I remember correctly, uh, or 11 pounds. I think it was 11 pounds. 11 pounds was the monitor weight. Um, reviewing my notes in regards to my own weight, I, I measured the, I, I weighed the actual monitor itself on my bathroom scale, 11 pounds, 11.2 pounds to be exact. So this is going to be the plate is uh, about four and a half inches one way let me see if the other way is the same way uh, about the same four and a half okay it has a bunch of holes so for different mounting options and it this is supposed to be for a monitor from let me see the weight capacity for this is it can hold up to a 22 pound monitor. This is 11, so it's half that. And the uh, largest size, according to the instructions, is 32 inches. 32 inches TV or monitor. Move this so you can move it up and now, which would be great. This spins around, so I guess I might want to tighten that, or I guess it doesn't, I don't know. Yeah, I might want to tighten that. This is kind of loose. So I'll tighten that up. Let's just spin it around. This is the actual release for the pole. Wow, it goes real high. Let me see how tall I can get it after we take a close-up look. So this is a close-up look. This has a screw inside, like the regular standard tripod uh, devices. Looks pretty strong. Metal. Rubber legs, that's pretty cool. And the rubber feet. Tube in the middle. Nothing in there. Doesn't look like there's anything in there. Nothing. I guess that's enough of a close-up look and uh, let me stand it up to see how tall it gets this is the height we'll see and I'll measure it see how tall it gets it's pretty high it looks roughly about five feet high so this is roughing it this is the height you get from the floor hold on one moment let me get this I got it I gotta level that out I gotta screw that in uh, okay now uh, yeah, about five feet, a little over five feet, five and a half feet total. But where the monitor will sit, probably be five feet. That's a pretty tall order. Um, I guess if you're doing um, like a gallery or something, you need to show some video. Oh, that'd be pretty cool if you're doing like a slideshow or something with this thing. It'll be uh, easy to do that with this. This is everything I purchased for the project. And um, I'm gonna open them up one by one. Two trays, one small, one large. I don't know if I'm keeping both or just one. What I like about these trays, easy removal. These are, this I'll definitely keep. This will be to keep the wires in place. I'll have this all, in for all the information at the bottom. So let's take a look at this thing. I'll have all the paperwork, everything that comes with it at the end. 
Uh, okay, so these are the clips. Simple plastic. Nice little green sign. They clip them on. Uh, oh, <laughs> I was hoping it would have more of a, I guess I could put a piece of tape or something, I don't know, to keep it from falling. I don't want it falling. Uh, yeah, I guess I could put one up here too. This is a close-up of it, just to make sure you get an idea. This is where the wires will go. It's all plastic. Uh, maybe I'll put Velcro in the middle. I don't know. So this one will go to this one. Up here. I don't know if I need four, but I'm definitely going to take two. Just to keep the wires in place. Um, Yeah, I'll probably um, figure something out. I purchased a second set right here. I probably, you know what, I'll keep that for another project. I think I only need two, really. If you ask me, as long as it keeps it in place, that's fine. I'm probably going to end up also using another, it's, it's called a, a sleeve, a wire sleeve to put the uh, the power cable in because that's gonna be the permanent one. But I'll, I'll see, I'll see what happens. I'll, I'll probably end up just keeping it like that and using the other one for something else. This is the actual, this one's nine by nine. Your one's 11 by 15. And these are trays, easy on and off trays for mics or guitar stands or any type of musical instrument type of thing. Um, so let me just, uh, this I'll have at the end. Let me just open it up. And all, like I said, all information will be below. else in there. This is the optical tray. This is supposed to be 9 by 9 Metal, steel, solid. That's the actual tray. Uh, this is... Eh, it's a plasticky? Yes, yeah, plasticky. The rest is all metal. All metal. Everything is all metal. Solder on. And measure, of course, just to confirm. Okay. And a little over nine. Just a little. Okay. It's got the little lips. Keep everything in place. Okay. Open this one up.
is a much larger one. Same exact thing. Uh, I don't know if you need, you can see the size difference between the two. Huge difference. Everything else is, is exactly the same, it's just bigger. Same so type of material, it's like a plasticky material. And let me confirm with the measurement by measuring it. Let me turn it around. Now let's put it together, see how it looks. For now, I'm just gonna connect the small one because I don't think I'm gonna be using the big one except in it when uh, I sometimes do parties and I do uh, slideshows and I can bring the monitor down to the party room and uh, the large one will allow me to put more things on there. So, but for now, I'll probably end up just using this one. I'll probably end up removing this one also just to let you know, but I'll probably just do it for now to show you how it'll look. Let's see, put it on, it hugs. Pull. Just like that, and it stays. I've used these in the past on other uh, tripods, and they work just fine. It holds everything up. This is how it'll look. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you me installing it as I only have one hand and I don't have another person with me. So I'll probably, you know, I'm gonna screw it in the monitor. The screws are there. Now the screws did not come with the monitor. The screws did not come with the tripod. So I gotta find my own. Now I have a bunch of these on the side because for other uh, tripod things and everything, I usually, would have kept the screws. I also have gotten extra screws for this stuff. So I now gotta go find that too. So I'm not gonna probably be able to show you. I removed this piece so I can screw it on easier with one hand. So I'll fast forward that part. But from here, which was very simple, just two screws, a nut and bolt to put it back on. Um, this thing and uh, this thing here and that's it that way it's easier with one hand to put it on Since I'm using my own screws, the screws seem to be too long. So I'm gonna have to use not two, but three washers. 
just to keep it from going through. I don't want it to go through into the screen. So this should be enough. And um, you know, I just thought of something. So I'm, I don't like how this is kind of scratching the back. That's driving me nuts. I'm going to try to make sure I don't get any more scratches. I'm going to put Velcro on here just to keep it. Maybe I won't even need to put... Um, to uh, washers, maybe this will keep it out of the way. And that's it, that way it's not, doesn't cause any damage, it stays put. And uh, the screws are just, this will just be extra reinforcement. So this is gonna be my setup. Let me clean the back to get all these scratches out. And I put these pieces of Velcro on there. Okay, so just two washers are needed. It looks like when you have the Velcro on there, it's, a, it's thicker. Again, these screws and these washers are my own. Yeah, they're fitting just fine. Tight enough. And Velcro holds very well, especially when... Uh, they're being held together by screws and reinforced. Okay, this is a 28 inch monitor, if I didn't mention it. 11 pound, 28 inch, 4K monitor. I got it done. It looks nice. I like it. I took the stand out, as you can see at the bottom, and it's pretty cool. I mean, you can move it around any way you want. Bring it forward, back. You have a lot of different options. I like it. So let me see how it looks next to my uh, setup over there. So I finished it up and like I said, I'm able to lower the monitor so I can have it at eye level. And I like it. I really like the setup. I like the tripod. It was really easy to set up. I put the shelf over here on the side. I'm probably not gonna keep it. I'm not gonna really use it for anything. I was able to Velcro some things in the back. Um, I don't know if you can see, let me put the light on. So I Velcroed the power supply and everything to the back of the monitor. Um, and I like it. I, I was able to run the cables through the wire harness and I'll probably just put this to the side when I need it when I'm working maybe I'm transferring hard drive information or something like that um, but I like it 
I really do like the tripod pop. And um, I'm able to close this up, stick it in the closet. All I have to do is unplug the power and unplug the HDMI and that's it. And uh, take it with me and it's literally um, connected from here all the way to, I guess, let me just show you. So everything is wirelessly, you know, the keyboard and mouse, I should say. That's physically connected. I can get the wireless thing working. All the way, sofa, floor. Floor, 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 office. It's not that far from, this is where I have the keyboard and mouse. This, and this is the computer I'm connecting it to. This is one, one of, oh, well, two of the monitors. And this is the actual computer that I'm connecting it to. So it's about 20, 25 feet away. And, um, it's doing what I needed to do, which is allowing me to work uh, 20, 25 feet away and uh, interact with the family while I'm doing some things. So I really like the tripod mount. And um, I hope you like the video. I hope it helps. Thank you.